Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server tutorial. In this sub-series, we are talking about SQL Server views. In this specific video, we will see how to create SQL Server views. In the last video, we got introduced to what is view and in what situation we will end up in creating views. Alright, now we will go to demo and create a SQL Server view. So here is our SQL Server Management Studio. Expand database. Now we will create view on Northwind database. So I am expanding Northwind database. Under Northwind database, you can see existing views that ships with Microsoft supplied database itself. So these are all the view given by Microsoft on Northwind. So now we will create our own view. Here I am choosing views, new view. So it is asking to pick tables, we will select categories products and suppliers so we have to click control so there are three table we selected for creating view that means from these tables we will pick the columns so we can click close now So at present you can see there are three tables and the SQL Server Management Studio is showing the relation as well. So category ID is mapping to category ID in products similarly. Supplier ID in products is mapping to suppliers table with the supplier ID column. From product table we will pick product name quantity per unit, unit price, units in stock, units on order, even reorder level. So here in categories, we will select company name and contact name from suppliers. From category, we will just pick category name only and here you can see the select statement that is involved in this view so the this is what called query builder and this builder will make necessary join we already learned about join if you need you can watch uh, the join subseries. Now, when you save here, so it's asking to enter a view name, and by default, it gives view underscore one. So we will give the name as product supplier. So that's the name we are giving, and we will hit OK here. So that's all, we can close this or if you want to save once again, you can do that. So here I'm doing the refresh and you can see, and you can see our query is displaying here after the refresh. Now we'll go to script view as create to new query window so when you want to create view you can use the tsql syntax as well and the tsql syntax will be
create view view name as then you can place your select statement so that's all the view will be created if i go with uh, this will create a view now let me refresh it here and you can see product and you can see product supplier 1 2 is displayed here so so if i expand the column you can see all the column names and the product supplier here is a view or we can call this as a named query which is pulling data from three different table but when you are writing the query if you see here you are okay let's make it as northwind database and update the intelligence cache product supplier that's our view name and we are selecting the column just like we are selecting it from the table so if user is given permission to view only the product supplier and not the underlying tables like products suppliers and uh, the other table involved so in that case if they are writing the select query like this they even don't know in how many table it is pulling data so all they know is the product supplier contains this many columns and they can write query like this so here we are making select category name coming from the categories table product name quantity per unit these two is coming from the products table and the company name is coming from supplier now you can execute and view the result so this is the use of view and this view is formed based on four table data sorry three table data all right so you can even perform where condition all those stuff just like how you write table the same way you can uh, write query for view also you can perform join so you can join this view with uh, other view or you can join this view with other table all those stuff you can perform so this is simply called a virtual table and you can use it that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.